It was April of 2007, and my birthday was approaching. Most of my family had already told me the gifts I would receive, like a new Wii along with video games for it. My grandmother didn't tell me anything. Now, my grandmother had always been a strange woman. She wasn't very talkative, but I liked to hear the stories she told. They were creepy, but intriguing. She told me she was going to give me a book. She didn't show it to me, nor did she tell me what it was about. Once my birthday rolled around, I was opening gifts from my loved ones. When I got to my grandmother's present, I opened it up and I saw a book with a pentagram carved into its front cover. I picked it up and thought nothing of it, because at the time, I didn't know what the shape was or what it meant. As soon as I grabbed it, though, everything went pitch black. When I woke up, my family was surrounding me and my mom was scolding my grandmother about giving me the book. My grandmother looked at me, but her eyes were evil-looking. That night, when I went to bed, I was having a pretty good dream. But suddenly, something woke me up. I looked around and saw nothing. Then, suddenly, I saw a shadowy figure in the doorway looking at me. This wasn't a case of sleep paralysis because I was able to move. But that didn't comfort me because that meant it was real life. The figure crept closer and closer to me. When I looked closer at the figure, I saw gray hair and crooked teeth. That's when I knew it was my grandmother. I screamed and ran past her, but she grabbed me and tossed me back. I noticed she had something in her hand, but I couldn't tell what it was. I saw one of my toys that I had gotten a few years ago, picked it up and threw it at her. She fell to the ground and I ran past her, telling my parents. My parents called the police and they got there and arrested her. The thing she had in her hand was a knife. And she was planning on killing me. To this day, I wonder what would have happened if that toy wasn't lying there. I don't know what could have happened if that toy wasn't lying there. So many possibilities. But most likely he'll die. But there are other ways of getting past her. I'm sure there are. I know she has a knife, but... He could... If he's small enough, he could, like, run through her legs. Or he could run past her, but that wouldn't work because she can just grab him like that and then stab um, yeah that toy is a lifesaver he should pray to that toy I wouldn't want to have a grandmother like that tells you creepy stories and then the next day she wants to kill you something there must be a reason again like I said in my other video there must be a reason why she wants to kill him but obviously they won't show that otherwise it will just make it less scary but I don't even know if this guy found out why she wanted to kill him. But the police should have found out by interrogating her. But I feel like she wouldn't even tell the police because she's old anyway. So she doesn't really care about what happens. <laughs> she's lived her life so she doesn't give a shit. So she probably will keep it a secret. That's what I think. Yeah, but there's something up with that man. Though. <laughs>